Thanks for coming to our YouTube channel. So there's been some horrible videos about how to set up CloudKey, the Ubiquity APs. So won't get into the software side, but a physical layer, we're the physical guys. So once you unbox this switch, um, it's a PoE, enterprise level one. So all you gotta do is plug in somewhere to either your Comcast RAS modem or your internal network. For purposes, we won't do everything. So once you're fired into the network, you're gonna have your connection. You can go ahead and plug in your APs. These are the Enterprise Pro models and you will see everything lights up. So are you guys in business? No, you have to have a cloud key. A cloud key is a controller for the APs. You put it in. Thank you, Carl. Once you put it on there, in there, you'll need to go in and actually, it was the IP address of that particular unit, right? Yes. So you'll need to get like a network scanner. There's various tools out there. We use solar winds. You will scan the network that mm -hmm. she's on. You will find the IP address of this, and then you will just go into a web interface, anything like a Google, Chrome, whatever, type in the IP address of this. Once you're in there, um, it, you will find the interface, GUI interface for this thing. They will have two options, the cloud key and the controller, right, Carl? Correct. Gotcha. So you will find the default password, which I believe is UB... UBNT. UBNT is the username. UBNT is the password. Then you go through password changes. Once Carl found out, you're gonna go ahead and roll out some updates on the cloud key. It's gonna do a bunch of firmware updates. Mm -hmm. And then we go into the controller. So you'll see in the GUI interface, there's the controller. And that's where you do what, Carl? You set up the Wi-Fi names, right? Yes. Right, so in the controller, you go ahead and set up the Wi-Fi, the SSID, I believe that's what it is, the broadcast names. You don't have to label these. You can get tricky on this, but um, basically you can just s assign your guest network, your main network, and that's all there. So in theory, we're going to a site where we're plugging in about 20 more of these. All we have to do is just plug them in and the controller will automatically put the right broadcast name and bada boom, bada bing. Um, am I forgetting anything else, Carl? Um, they just gotta, if it's blinking like this, mm -hmm. you just gotta wait for it to um, stop and be solid. Once it's solid, then you can get into the interface and change and update that. Once it's updated, it'll turn blue. Okay, so this one has been updated. So is this why it's still like, it's still, it's still loading? Is, yeah. All right. It's loading, and then it's also, I noticed that these guys are blinking. So this one has already been configured, and there's been other horrible videos where a steady blue light, right? When she's ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. What else am I missing? Uh, is it? I don't think so. Controller, GUI interface, into the IP, change the this, and then you're in business. All right. Thank you, Carl. You're welcome. All right.